हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एच डी ओ राय वी आर स्टडिंग अकाउंटेंसी फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम टी एस गेरेवाल टेक्स्ट बुक अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स चैप्टर फोर एडमिशन ऑफ अ पार्टनर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू रेजिंग एंड राइटिंग ऑफ गुडविल सो रेजिंग एंड राइटिंग ऑफ गुडविल नाउ इट हैज रिसेंटली बीन एडेड बैक इन द सिलेबस earlier two years before this was not in the syllabus just in the year 2022 23 it is added back here again now what does it mean raising and writing off first we will raise the goodwill in the books and then we will write it off so what will be the benefit of it by doing so the benefit of goodwill will be received by the partners in their sacrificing and gaining ratio ratio the effect will be same as treating the goodwill in sacrificing and ra- and gaining ratio as we have done in the previous videos but here first we will raise it raise the goodwill in new old ratio and then we will write off the same goodwill the same amount in new ratio resulting in sacrificing ratio or gaining ratio of the partners so let us understand it properly by through a question question number 39 ankit and bobby are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 3 of 2 is to 1 with capitals of rupees 7 lakh 50000 and rupees 5 lakh respectively they agree to admit kartik into partnership who brings rupees 2 lakh 50000 as capital and rupees 60000 for one fourth share of goodwill goodwill already appears in the books at rupees 45000 past necessary journal entries by raising and writing of goodwill also prepare partners capital account now one should bear in mind that unless it is asked in the question to raise and write off the goodwill we should not do this then what should be the treatment the treatment of goodwill should be in sacrificing and gaining ratio as we have done in the previous questions so here in this question the question itself is asking us to raise and write off the goodwill and therefore we will do it accordingly let us see the solution so we will see the journal entry for the question in which the new partner kartik is bringing his portion of capital and goodwill for that bank account or cash account can be debited to kartik's capital account kartik's capital account now whenever the question says that you have to raise the goodwill and write off the goodwill in that case uh, capital and goodwill both will be credited to partners capital account here in this question he is bringing rupees 2 lakh 50000 as capital and rupees 60000 as his premium for goodwill so both 3 lakh 10000 will be credited in the capital account of the new partner being capital plus premium by kartik and now let us uh, write off the old existing goodwill which is there in the book so old partner ankit ankit's capital account debited bobby also bobby's capital account also debited to old existing goodwill that is goodwill account because it is there in the book it means an asset was showing a debit balance so this old goodwill is now written off it is of rupees 45000 and it will be written off in old ratio which is 2 is to 1 so 30000 and 15000 being existing goodwill goodwill written off in old ratio which is 2 is to 1 now one should understand that new partner kartik's goodwill is included in this amount 3 lakh 10000 the treatment of it will be at the time of writing of the goodwill fine because the question has asked us to raise the goodwill and write it off so that 60000 will be adjusted at the time of uh, writing of the goodwill so let us raise the goodwill first for raising the goodwill goodwill account will be debited 
goodwill account will be debited with what amount see karthik's goodwill is how much 60000 and his portion is 1 by 4 and we will reverse the ratio 60000 into 4 that is 240000 is the total goodwill of the firm fine and karthik is bringing his portion of goodwill which is one fourth of two lakh forty thousand that is sixty thousand so therefore when we multiply karthik's portion of goodwill into reciprocal of his portion of profit then we get the total goodwill of the firm and now we will raise it to the partners old partners that is ankit ankit's capital account and to bobby's capital account In which ratio? In old ratio. This is the old ratio. That is 2 is to 1. So, raising of goodwill will take place only in old ratio. So, 1,60,000 and rupees 80,000 being goodwill raised. In old ratio, which is 2 is to 1. Now, we will write it off. So, all the partners capital account debited, including the new partner. So, Ankit's capital account debited, Bobby's capital account also debited, and how was that? Uh, Karthik. Karthik's capital account also debited to Goodwill. So, in this way, goodwill account is once debited and once credited with the same amount and it is closed. So, there is no goodwill account left open in the books. But the capital accounts are adjusted and the benefit of goodwill is received by the sacrificing partner and gaining partners have contributed, have, have given this to the sacrificing partner. Now, in the old... So, writing off will take place in new ratio, which is 2 is to 1 is to 1. And 2 is to 1 is to 1. So, it is 1,20,000, then 60,000, and then 60,000. Being goodwill written off, which is a new goodwill. Written off in new ratio, which is 2 is to 1 is to so one should remember here or please understand this that the new partner's portion of goodwill 60,000 rupees is already in this 2,40,000 and the treatment of new partner's goodwill to the sacrificing partners is also done by these two entries. So you need not to make any special entry for premium for goodwill. Now in partner's capital account, first we will write by balance brought down for the old partners capital that is uh, how much rupees seven lakh fifty thousand and rupees two lakh fifty thousand not two lakh fifty thousand five lakh and by bank karthik is bringing rupees three lakh ten thousand in this his portion of capital and goodwill both are there now we will write off old goodwill 75,000 rupees not 45,000 rupees in old ratio. Now we will raise the new goodwill that is by goodwill. It is the new goodwill new and raising of the goodwill is in old ratio that is 2 is to 1 and the amount of goodwill is rupees 2,40,000. We will write off this new goodwill on the debit side. So, two goodwill. This is also new in new ratio. That is 2 is to 1 is to 1. So, 1 lakh 20,000, 60,000, and 60,000. Now, two balance close down. So here grand total is 9,10,000 minus 
one lakh fifty thousand. So it is seven lakh sixty thousand as the closing balance for Ankit. And for Bobby, it is five lakh eighty thousand. To make it five lakh eighty thousand, we will subtract seventy five thousand here, and it will be five lakh five thousand. And here it is three lakh ten thousand. Minus his portion of goodwill brought by the new partner, sixty thousand. So it is two lakh fifty thousand. So this is how the capital account is to be prepared. Let us see question number forty. X and Y are equal partners in a firm. They admit Z into partnership, and the new profit sharing ratio between X, Y, and Z is four is to three is to. On Z's admission, goodwill of the firm is valued at rupees thirty-six thousand. Z is unable to bring his share of goodwill premium in cash. Pass necessary journal entries for treatment of goodwill on Z's admission by raising and writing of goodwill. So let us see the solution. So solution forty, we will see here on new partner Z's admission. The value of goodwill is rupees thirty six thousand, and Z has joined the business for two by ninth share. And Z is unable to bring his portion of goodwill, so we will raise the goodwill and we will write off the goodwill. Raising the goodwill will be in old ratio, and writing off will be in the new ratio. So for that, goodwill account is debited to raise it. Two old partners' capital account, that is two X capital account, and two Y capital account, with the full value of goodwill, and their old ratio is one is to one, so it is eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand, being goodwill raised. In old ratio, which is one is to one, and then we will write off this in new ratio. So X capital account debited, Y S capital account debited, Z S capital account also debited. To goodwill account. In this way, goodwill account is credited and closed with the same amount, thirty-six thousand rupees. And their new ratio is four is to three is to two. So we will distribute this thirty-six thousand in four is to three is to two. That is the new ratio. Being goodwill written off in new ratio, which is four is to three is to two. So in this way, we see that we are doing the same. That is, old ratio minus new ratio. In old ratio, the capital accounts are credited, and in new ratio, the capital accounts are debited. So it is what old ratio minus new ratio. So actually, we are doing the same thing as uh, treating the goodwill in sacrificing and. Gaining ratio, but because the question has asked us to open goodwill account, to raise goodwill account, and to write it off, therefore we have to do this, and we have to stick to this if the question is particular about this. Now let us see question number forty-one. Chintan and Ayush are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of three to two. They admitted Sudha. As new partner for one tenth share in profits, Sudha brings rupees forty thousand as premium for goodwill out of his share of rupees seventy thousand. So it is a partial, partial amount Sudha is bringing for goodwill. Goodwill already already appears in the books at rupees forty thousand. Pass the necessary journal entries to record this arrangement in the following two cases. Case one, when the unpaid share of goodwill is adjusted. Through new partner's current account, and case two, when the goodwill is raised for the 
amount not brought by the new partner and is also the return of. So let us see the detailed explanation of this in the solution. So in this question, Chintan and Ayush are the old partners and their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 and new partner Sudha has joined for one tenth share in the profit. And Sudha's share of premium for goodwill is rupees 70,000 but Sudha could manage only to bring rupees 40,000. So 40,000 is the amount firm has received for premium for goodwill. Sudha's capital is not known as it is not given in the question. So 40,000 out of 70,000 only 40,000 Sudha could manage to bring being premium received. Now the amount of Sudha's premium will be transferred to sacrificing partners capital account. So premium for goodwill account will be debited and closed. Forty thousand. It is closed, uh, but uh, Sudha's premium is of rupees seventy thousand. So thirty thousand rupees will be again debited in the name of Sudha's current account. As it is asked in the question, unpaid share of goodwill is adjusted through new partner's current account. So this is how new partner's current account is debited for the unpaid amount of premium which was supposed to be brought by the new partner. And now it will be credited to sacrificing partner's capital account. Here both the old partners are sacrificing in their sacrificing ratio. So to Chintan. Chintan's capital account and to Ayush capital account. In their sacrificing ratio, which is uh, how much? 3 is to 2. Old ratio will be the sacrificing ratio. being goodwill transferred to old old partners or sacrificing partners in sacrificing ratio which is 3 is to 2 and the amount is rupees 42,000 and rupees 28,000 so this way the treatment for goodwill of the new partner will be done to the partners but before the partner came into the business, into partnership, there was an old goodwill existing in the books of accounts. And this goodwill is of rupees 40,000, which is also to be written off. All these three entries are done on the same date. And therefore, the uh, what's that uh, chronology of it is on the same date. So it doesn't matter you are putting the writing off of the uh, existing goodwill first entry or the last entry it is it can be done so in in that case old partners capital account will be debited Ayush also debited to goodwill account so it is 40,000 and old ratio is sacrificing ratio and old ratio are the same because that is uh, in the question new new or a different profit sharing ratio is not suggested in the question nor the sacrificing ratio is given. As a result the old ratio will be our sacrificing ratio. Even if you calculate it you will find the same old ratio as sacrificing ratio. That doesn't mean here in the previous uh, previous uh, journal entry, uh, old ratio is 3 is to 2, sacrificing ratio is also 3 is to 2. But we are focusing here on sacrificing ratio. In no case, 
such entry should be done for old ratio you have to call it sacrificing ratio so when 40000 is broken in the ratio 3 is to 2 it will be 24000 and 16000 being existing goodwill or old goodwill written off written off in old ratio which is again 3 is to 2 so this is the solution for case a of the question now in case b when goodwill is raised for the amount not brought by the new partner and is also written off so here i have passed the first entry for the writing of the old existing goodwill in the books in the old ratio to old partners now let us bring money out of rupees 70,000 only 40,000 could be brought by the new partner as premium for goodwill so for that bank or cash account can be debited with rupees 40,000 to premium for goodwill rupees 40,000 being premium brought by new partner what's his name Sudha now we will distribute this to the old partners in their sacrificing ratio premium account premium for goodwill account debited 40,000 rupees to Chintan and to Ayush in their old ratio so here again rupees 24,000 and rupees 16,000 it is not old ratio but sacrificing ratio being goodwill distributed in sacrificing ratio which is 3 is to 2 now new partner was supposed to bring 70,000 as premium for goodwill but only 40,000 he brought so for the remaining 30,000 we will raise the goodwill and we will write off the goodwill raising the goodwill in old ratio for that goodwill account will be debited so goodwill account debited to chintan and to ayush so for the goodwill not brought it is 30000 rupees and reciprocal of uh, uh, Sudha's profit sharing ratio is 10 by 1 because Sudha is getting one tenth from the total profit and therefore to know the proportionate amount of goodwill which is not brought by the new partner we will multiply 30,000 rupees that is the goodwill not brought by Sudha multiplied by reciprocal of Sudha's portion of profit that is one tenth reciprocal is 10 by 1 so it is how much 3 lakh rupees so with this 3 lakh rupees goodwill account will be raised in the in the old ratio and old ratio is 3 is to 2 1 lakh 80,000 and 1 lakh 20,000 being goodwill raised means proportionate goodwill raised in old ratio that is 3 is to 2 actually the total goodwill of the firm is 70,000 into 10 by 1 that is 7 lakh but because he has brought 40,000 rupees in cash and therefore goodwill will be raised only for the amount which he has not brought fine and therefore the proportionate goodwill amount is how much 3 lakh rupees 
and it is raised by the uh, by the same amount in old ratio and for writing of the goodwill we have to calculate the new ratio so after giving sudha one tenth from the total profit the remaining profit is 9 by 10 which will be given to chintan and ayush so new profit sharing ratio of chintan is equal to 9 by 10 into 3 by 5 that is 3 by 5 and for ayush 9 by 10 into 2 by 5 and sudha is equal to 1 by 10 fine so here you get how much 27 by 50 here you get 18 by 50 and because the denominators are 50 to make here also denominator 50 we will multiply and divide by 5 so that it is 5 by 50 denominator is 50 again now the numerator numbers can be taken as the ratio that is 27 is to 18 is to 5 you will add this to get you will get 50 fine and the old ratio you see old ratio is how much 3 is to 2 so if you see here it is the same ratio 27 is to 18 is nothing but 3 is to uh, 3 is to 2 so it has not changed so our old ratio is our sacrificing ratio that we have done in part a fine why do we uh, consider sometimes old ratio as our sacrificing ratio is due to this reason but in this case we need not sacrificing ratio we will write off the raised goodwill in in new ratio this is our new ratio fine so let us uh, let us write it off so all the capital accounts will be debited to goodwill account goodwill was raised with rupees 3 lakh now it is written off by rupees 3 lakh so this way goodwill account will be closed and we will break this 3 lakh in the ratio 27 is to 18 is to 5 and the amounts are rupees 1 lakh 62,000 rupees 1 lakh 8,000 and rupees 30,000 so here you get Sudha's un, not brought uh, amount of goodwill is 30,000 so here you get it being goodwill written off in new ratio which is 27 is to 18 is to 5 so this way the question is to be solved I hope that you have understood the concept very well and this and this concept is very important from examination point of view and I believe that you have watched all the previous videos and this video also you have watched properly with full understanding without skipping it. Despite this, if you are having any doubt, then please put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing and sharing this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.